Hi, I'm Danzen, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. So recently I wanted to try out island farming. Now if you don't know what that is, that's basically finding an island that's just the right size, not too big, not too small, uh, big enough to make a decent sized farm, but small enough such that um, mobs don't, bots don't spawn during raids. Now, I found that little tiny island over there using my jump pad contraption. If you've not seen that video, do check it out. And then what happened after that was um, I built a really long bridge to the island so that I could run, I could get on the island faster. It's running definitely faster than swimming. And um, the bridge, the straight path here, there's a bend at the end, but the straight path here is about a thousand blocks long because it took up um, four full stacks of um, blocks just for uh, one width, the one block width. So um, there's 3,000, about 3,000 blocks here just going straight down. Anyways, let me show you um, what happens when I try to run on this bridge. Or rather, it, it actually even works even if I just walk, but I'll show you what happens when I'm running on it. At some point, I'd start randomly bouncing. There you go. And I'm not pressing the spacebar. And even if I was, there's no way I could jump that high normally anyways. So, and I'm sort of glitching through the bridge as well, if you can see that. So yeah, when you have something really long in Scrap Mechanic, um, that seems to happen. I have went and checked out the forums and it seems like my problem is not unique. Um, so yeah, uh, this is definitely a bug or a limitation and I don't foresee the devs is going to fix this anytime soon. So I set out to find a solution myself and what I found was, um, see how I have pillars, um, along the bridge itself. So the pillars are spaced 256 blocks apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove, um, we're going to separate the bridge into chunks of 256 in length. See now the bridge still throws me off and bounces me around. But once we break it down into chunks of um, shorter chunks, uh, it will work fine. Let me just replace that block there. All right, now let's try running from this end back to the beginning. There shouldn't be any more uh, random bouncing issues right now. Sometimes the bouncing can get very bad. It can even launch you sideways into the water, but maybe that's because my bridge is rather narrow at the moment. I do have plans to make it wider, but I'm just trying out things for now. See, we're reaching the end with no issues at all. There you go. That's the workaround for the bug. Now, I do realize that um, some people are trying to use, uh, are trying to make like rails for um, vehicles, or trains or whatnot. And obviously this gap wouldn't do. So I found a workaround for that as well. Actually, let me just hit back to land and I'll show you what I mean. So say you have two portions of your creation that are anchored to the ground or what rather welded to the ground Oops. Let's break that apart so something like that so this would be sort of like our bridge um if you simply built a block here then this whole thing will be one object 
as I can, we can sh we can check this by just trying to paint it, and it paints across, no issues. Now, if you want it to main, if you want it, if you want to fill the gap but maintain the separate object, what you have to do is you make block like so, and then you weld it to one of the portions, like so. When you do that the bodies remain separate. And we can check this. We can just remove this and it will fall off. See that? So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go back on the bridge and fill in the gaps. So again, just put the blocks on a lift and then weld it onto one of the sections. I'm going to weld it onto this section. Let's move on to the next one. And so, and one more. Like so. Now let's try running back again. So yeah, this workaround works really nicely. Um, but I did accidentally found, uh, find another workaround for this issue. Now, let me just uh, replace those blocks back to one whole section, one whole section of bridge so that I can demonstrate it. So as I've mentioned earlier, um, these two parts are actually are actually different sections, different bodies. As we try to paint it, it doesn't go through. So which means if we remove it here, um, this section would fall off. See that? Now we're going to make sure these two parts are joined. And we can check by trying to paint it. Nope, that's joint. Now we're going to do the same for, whoops. You have to do the same for the other portions, the other chunks. So I'm gonna remove this bit here, and then I'm build. Oops. Build this here. Just checking that it's yep. One last one. And right here. So build it. Build it here. Yep. Check that it's one whole section. Yep. All right. So just to demonstrate that um, the bug is back again, we're going to try running on the bridge. There we go. It's, it's um, well, the bug is back. Now, I found this other workaround by mistake. And I'm, I mean, by... Um, by coincidence, by accident, and I'm not sure why it works, but it does. So what I did was I wanted to mark where the uh, where the pillars were. So what I did was I painted this block here above the pillar it, color. Yep. So and I did this for the other pillars as well. This one here, paint it. Hmm. Why is this not 
this one not painted. Paint it. Yep. And one more at the end. And this one here. All right, now we're going to try running from the beginning to the end. All right, let's get third person view and go. So far, so good. And there you have it. I have no idea why painting the blocks like this works. So the spacing between each paint is um, each paint the block is two hundred fifty six in length. Um, I would personally not rely on the painting method because I'm not sure why it works. I would rather physically split it um, into chunks of uh, two hundred fifty six blocks in length. Anyways, um, hope that was useful to you if you're building a bridge to an island. I'm Danson, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!